Are you ever so hungry you forget to eat? It's 11.51, I haven't eaten breakfast, I haven't even had coffee. We just got invited to give two master classes to an exclusive online community. Let's see how fast I can get these done. I need two webinar outlines, two descriptions, two titles, two promotional blogs, and probably one questionnaire. I can use basic AI tools to get all of that done before I go from hungry to hangry. You know what I mean. I'm gonna use four basic steps all of which are great steps for you to use for any deadline you're up against. The first one is one of my all-time favorites, and that is to use audio transcription to get information into the system lightning fast. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just use my phone, turn on the recorder app, and record my notes from the call we just had. We had an hour-long call, I have a few notes, I'll see how long that takes me. Just grabbing a recorder app, anyone will do that you like, finding my notes, okay. Okay, that's done, I'm saving it. And now all I'm gonna do is upload this to something that can transcribe it. For me, I'm gonna use Descript, but you might have Otter, Vimeo can do it. I just opened Descript and now I'm gonna add a new project. Now I'm just gonna upload a file to Descript and Descript will automatically start transcribing it for me. I'm about 16 minutes in, but that's because it took me a little while to record all the information I needed. Okay, the transcription is done, so now I'm just gonna select all of this and copy it. And now I head in to ChatGPT. First, I'll just say hello. I like to always say hello. Okay, I just told it that I'm excited to start a project, that I'm going to download the transcript of the notes I just took, and then I'm gonna ask it for help creating a few products. Let's see what it says. If you wanna know the exact prompts I use in this tutorial, no worries, they're right underneath this in the description. I'm giving you a PDF that's got every one of them word for word, all yours. Okay, it's saying what I needed. Two 45 minute presentations, two blurb sort of descriptions for each presentation, or one for each. Um, two titles and a teaser, and it's already going. <laughs> I'm actually letting this go, even though I know this isn't what I need. This is really, <laughs> it already creating the outputs I wanted, even though I wanted to actually give it more information, I didn't tell it to wait, so my mistake. And sometimes there's interesting things that comes out of, come out of this part. So I'll scan what it says, and then I'll continue on with my process. Okay, funny thing, without me even prompting anymore, the first of the two presentations is, is pretty good. Um, but we're still gonna continue on with what we were planning to do. I'm gonna thank it and then give more instructions that make it more clear. So I say, thanks, for the, this was a great first draft. I'm gonna actually upload my brand voice document. That brings me to my number two tip to use, which is I always then prime the system. And that is that I tell it exactly who I am, what I wanna do with it. And to do that, you need a brand voice. Now, some of you don't have that and you can continue on this process without it, but we have a video. I'll put the link to it in the, in the description below. We cover brand voice all the time in our training because really until you train AI, it will not produce what you need it to produce. So it's gonna give you generic things that you keep having to revise and keep having to work on. But once you tell it your brand voice, it speeds up everything you do in the future. So if you haven't done it yet, the link is below and we'll teach you exactly how to do that. It's simple. So number two, I'm gonna upload my brand voice document so it knows who I am and what I'm gonna present. I'm just gonna copy in my brand voice document and add it in. Okay, I just submitted our brand voice document and now let's see what it creates. Okay, it started writing again and even though it looks like it's probably on track, I stopped it because I wanna say, please begin drafting the two outlines of the courses, but don't proceed to do anything else because we're gonna work through these systematically together. Okay. I'm actually really, really happy with these. Um, I would have added to the image one to, that we're gonna do a Dolly and Midjourney comparison, but I can add that in by hand and I wanna mo keep moving. Like I said, lunch is calling me. It's already 12.22. Now that I have an outline for each of the courses, I'm gonna ask it to create maybe five titles for each one. That way I have some to pick from and can decide the one I like. Okay, so I say, all right, I love it. Would you please give me five titles for each of those sessions so that I can pick one and then we'll proceed to getting the promotional blurb done. Okay, let's take a look at these. For the first one, which is about chatbots, it says AI elegance, conversing with luxury in the digital age, plush talks, mastering AI chatbots for the super prime realm. If I take a quick glance down these, they're pretty good. And I'm gonna say, let's go with number four for the first one, which is luxury reimagined and for the second one, number two, opulent imagery, crafting visual masterpieces with AI tools. Those sound great. Let me tell it what I like. Okay, now I've asked it to create two blurbs and I said, let's go a little later on the audience and actually do higher information about the AI content. Let's see if that's the right mix. Okay, 
I'm not gonna lie, these are already great. So this one says, luxury reimagined, the rise of conversational AI is in super prime. Dive deeply into the transformative world of AI chatbots and explore how they're revolutionizing interactions in their modern digital era. In this masterclass, we'll uncover the potential of AI tools like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Claude. I also think it's funny that ChatGPT misspells Claude. <laughs> if I look at the next one, yeah, I'm also happy with that one. So we're moving on. We've already got the course outlined, the titles, the promotional blurbs. What I need next is theoretically a blog post for them to use pro promotionally for each one of them within their community. But before that, I actually want to be able to ask their members some questions before we head into the course. So let me see if I can get ChatGPT to create that for me really quickly. I just wrote up that I'd like ChatGPT to create a questionnaire and I wanted to ask things like, give me your industry and your website and your brand and anything else you want us to point us to that has some of your content. That'll give us a lot of things we could mine to help set up examples that'll run really fast because this, this masterclass is gonna really have to move. I asked you to propose the five things that things are most important and then to give me five more. That way we can see if there's anything else we wanna add in that we missed. Also, you can see I kind of wrote up a, a kind of pretty long lengthy paragraph of what I wanted. And you might say like, why didn't I just write the questionnaire? But it's sort of like being in a brainstorming session. You know how much faster it is to say, hey, let's generate a five question questionnaire. All we need to do is capture their website and a few questions about their industry. And then when you actually sit down to write it, you have to get all the grammar right and make sure it sounds good and it sounds the right level of professional or fun or however, or it's intriguing or not. Those elements just take more time and this is gonna produce this in less time than I can take to explain what it's doing. It's five questions are, what is what industry? Tell me, give us a link to your website. What social media? Um, have you used or in, used any AI? That's what it picked as the top five. It gave me a few more. What intrigues you the most? What are your challenges that you think it could address? What are your expectations? How would you describe your brand voice? I mean, some of those would be much longer than I'd want them to answer, but worth considering. And we will take that back to the team and brainstorm that. So questionnaire, I'm considering also done. I'm at 1234. I got to get going because yeah, I'm still feeling good. I'm having so much fun here with you guys. <laughs> now at this point, we're ready to create a blog for each one that they can put on their pages to help build interest when we get closer to the masterclass. I'm going to prompt ChatGPT to give me a draft blog for each one of these. Here, I'm prompting ChatGPT to give me two blog posts. I want them to have provocative titles. I want them to address the objections people might have or concerns heading into this masterclass, as well as the benefits they might expect to learn about. I also wanted to give me a couple of extra titles because I'm picky about titles. They make a big difference, so give me a few to pick from. Let's see. Oh, I already like it. Blog post one, why let boring tasks hold you back when AI can set you free? I love it. I think these are pretty amazing and definitely good enough to get us started. One of the problems is it doesn't match the titles when it suggests it attends our class. So I'm going to have it fix that. And I don't think for this audience, I want any emojis. So I'm going to take those out. Although if you see, it's pretty cool. It added the emojis in itself. Let's give it one more try. With AI, this is one of the things to do all the time. Never, ever, ever, ever accept the very first draft. Always do at least a few more. Because I'm hungry, I might only do one more round, but normally I would do at least three rounds, saying more casual, shorter, longer. I'm gonna make this one a little more formal, no emojis, match the titles, and maybe a tiny bit shorter. Let's see. All right, I've asked for another, another version. Oh, wow. I was scanning these as ChatTP wrote them. These are a little more formal, maybe handle the objections a little bit less, so I'll have to compare the two versions I have, but one of the two for each of these is going to definitely work. I also have now eight potential titles for each blog, and I'm sure I'll be able to find one I like because they all sound like they're right on track. So with that, it is 12.45, which means I spent 54 minutes. That's two blogs, two promotional blurbs, two titles, two course outlines, and a bonus thrown in there of a questionnaire. We got all that, and I didn't get hangry. I'm having a great time. I feel super productive. I'm about to go have a great lunch and 54 minutes in, done.